display? If you've ever considered owning a compact luxury sports sedan, maybe like a 3 Series BMW or an Audi A4, then you might want to pay close attention because today I have the privilege of sharing with you how Cadillac is here to challenge that status quo with an all-new offering that's brand new for 2013, the all-new Cadillac ETS. So today I'll tell you about some of the highlights on this vehicle, starting by what you can really expect as far as the performance, the ride, and the handling of the new ATS. So it features a double pivot McPherson strut design, which means you have very precise steering control, nice smooth ride, and the back here it features Cadillac's first ever five-link rear independent suspension. So the goal of that is really to help keep your tires planted during hard cornering maneuvers or aggressive driving, which you know you're definitely going to want to do here in your ATS. To further enhance performance, you can add what's called the FE3 Sport Suspension Package. With this, you get a high-capacity cooling system, 18-inch summer performance tires, and the Gen 3 Magnetic Ride Control technology that reads and reacts to the road up to 1,000 times per second. Now, underneath the hood for the 2013 ATS, we will have three fantastic engine options for you, all of which are power-dense and highly fuel-efficient. The base engine is a 2.5-liter inline four-cylinder. It gives you 202 horsepower and over 30 miles per gallon on the highway. The second engine option is a 2-liter turbo. This is also a four-cylinder, but it gives you 272 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. If you would like to see it, we do have that engine on display. It's actually right back here in our V-Series lab, where you can actually learn more about how Cadillac has returned to racing as well. Going back to the ATS though, your third and most powerful engine option is the one that you'll see in the vehicle right here beside me. This one features the 3.6 liter V6 that gives you an amazing 321 horsepower. It is the same engine that's currently featured in the larger CTS. Now if you're trying to make comparisons between the two vehicles, which lots of people like to do if you're familiar with the CTS, ATS here is smaller. It's about nine inches shorter in overall length and it's an inch and a half narrower as far as width. It's also lighter, weighing in at just under 3,400 pounds, so all three of those engine options should definitely power this vehicle quite nicely, just depending on the option that works best for you. Um, all three engines will be paired with a six-speed automatic transmission. If you do opt for the two-liter turbo, though, you can also get it with a six-speed manual transmission as well. Now, the ATS is built on an all-new rear-wheel drive architecture. However, it does have optional all-wheel drive capability, too. On the back here, you'll see that it says ATS, and then there's a small four. When you see that four, it lets you know that it does have the all-wheel package on there, and that goes across our entire lineup. SRX Crossover has that. The CTS right in front of me here features that. So just to give you an idea of what you can expect, really what you're looking at here on the vehicle. Now, as we take a closer look at the interior, you can see it's absolutely gorgeous. There are seven different interior color options and 10 different exterior colors. This exterior color is called Crystal Red, and this is the ebony interior that you'll see here beside me. Uh, you can also get a Sapelli wood trim package, and this is the brushed aluminum trim that you'll see here beside me. Um, potentially even a carbon fiber trim available somewhere down, um, down the line as well. Now, this is a five-passenger vehicle, two in the front, three in the back. You have a 60-40 split folding rear seat, and it's very easy to actually fold these down. There's a small handle right at the top, and you can see it's very easy to get into the back. It extends all the way into your trunk. You have 10.2 cubic feet back here. I'll go ahead and open it up as it spins around. Feel free to take a closer look in there. I know it was a very strategically designed trunk, considering this is a compact luxury vehicle. So even though it's smaller, we still want to make sure that you can fit as much as you can in there. So across the back, it is actually wide enough to hold a set of golf clubs, something that we know is very important to lots of our Cadillac owners. There's also a pass-through in the center. So if you're seating four passengers, you still have some flexibility with your cargo space to put hockey sticks, skis, plants, whatever you need to do, you can actually put right through the center while still comfortably seating four passengers here in the back. Now, as you move to the front, you'll notice lots of details up here. You have eight-way power adjusting seats. You actually have a fantastic gas pedal. The accelerator goes all the way to the floor, kind of a throwback you'll see there. Um, this is an automatic, so the automatic comes with the paddle shifters that you'll see tucked right behind the steering wheel, and it also features the new Q system, or the Cadillac User Experience. Now this is our new comprehensive infotainment system, 
So it makes carrying your music, your navigation, your phone, all very elegant and very seamless. If you would like to try this out for yourself today, we do have it powered up. The Q demonstration display is just over there behind our XTS, so please feel free to try it out. It's fantastic. It works very intuitively, very easily, and it will be in the new ATS that comes out this summer, the new XTS, which comes out in just about six to eight weeks, and also in our new 2013 SRX Crossover 2, so make sure that you don't miss that. A few other great features that you'll see on the ATS here beside me. Of course, we feature the adaptive cruise control. It's powered by this camera that you'll see right on the front. So the way that that works is it reads the vehicles in front of you. If someone starts to slow down, it can automatically slow your vehicle down as well. Um, over here, that is actually your heads up display. So making it safer than ever, you don't even have to look down at your dashboard anymore. It's actually going to display everything on the windshield out in front of you. Um, some other great features you'll notice up here are active shutters in the grill that close down at certain highway speeds. They help improve the aerodynamics of the vehicle even further, helps improve fuel economy. And you also have adaptive lighting here too. So the circular part of your headlamp swivels up to 15 degrees in sync with steering input and speed. Plus it automatically provides three modes of lighting too. So maybe you're making a hard left, your headlamps are going up to 15 directions in that direction with you, really just to help increase visibility and keep you that much safer. You'll also notice a very distinctive feature with the lighting here, with it extending into the fender. This is something new and absolutely fantastic. I love the look on this. Really extends the profile of the vehicle. You'll also see lighting elements here in your side mirror, and then even in your door handles as well. It's so bright, maybe you can't get the full effect, but you do have illuminated door handles here that work very nicely with your keyless entry. As you get closer to the vehicle, you'll have a keypad. You can leave it in your pocket. You don't have to worry about fumbling around for that. It recognizes you're coming, and then it also has push to start technology. So you can simply just hit engine start and be off and ready to go. Um, pricing for this vehicle has not been released yet. Unfortunately, all that I can tell you is it will be very competitively priced, and this is our new entry level Cadillac, which means it will be less than our CTS which currently starts in the mid-30s. You can expect to see this in your local dealerships late summer 2012, so probably somewhere right around August, maybe a little before that, hopefully. Um, if production does start in Lansing, Michigan in just a few months. If you have any other questions, my name is Tara. I'm very happy to answer those for you. We have a wonderful team of product specialists, probably some of the best that you'll ever see. Um, they're here today, extremely knowledgeable, like my friend Joseph here. He'd be happy to get you information on pricing and packaging as it becomes available. So if you would like that, make sure you stop by and see one of us. Thank you for stopping by and welcome to Cadillac.